My name is Dr. Gregory O'Brien, and I am the superintendent of the Centinella Valley Union High School District. It is my pleasure to welcome you to Centinella Valley and this school. We are so excited that you will be joining our learning community. Everyone in our district is focused on providing you with a rigorous 21st century education that will prepare you for college, career, and life. Over the next four years, we have a lot to do to get you ready for your future. It is going to include a lot of hard work, but it will also be fun and exciting as you explore the many opportunities that await you as a fully prepared citizen. Now, why are you here today? We are very excited that starting this year, you will participate in our digital learning initiative, sometimes referred to as DLI. This initiative will provide every student with one of these, his or her very own Chromebook. You will also receive the support and infrastructure essential to the success of a one-to-one -one program. Your Chromebook will provide you with access to anytime, anywhere learning. Sorry, no more excuses to not get your homework done. Additionally, our teachers are working to prepare high quality, engaging blended learning opportunities, which will provide you with the skills and knowledge necessary for success in the digital age. An initiative of this magnitude requires the support of many people. We would like to thank some of them at this time. First, we want to thank the Centinella Valley Union High School District Board of Education for their resounding support of this initiative. Next, we want to thank the residents of our school district for prioritizing technology in the voter approved parcel tax, which is helping to provide reliable funding for this initiative. And finally, we want to thank the staff, teachers, students and families for partnering with us on this endeavor. The CV Digital Learning Initiative is a huge opportunity for all of us. Students, this is your chance to take control of your education and your future. Let's work together to ensure that this initiative and, more importantly, your future are a success. Thank you. Thank you for making a commitment to your educational success by taking the time to attend this important training on the digital learning program in Centinella Valley Union High School District. As part of our digital learning initiative, you will be given a Chromebook, which will be an essential learning tool both on campus and at home. In this training, you will learn how to use your Chromebook, how the school district provides a safe and secure online learning environment, what to do if you have a problem with your Chromebook, and you will be introduced to some of the digital learning methods and tools that you will experience in the classroom. Each student will receive a Chromebook as part of Centinella Valley's one-to-one -one digital learning initiative. This Chromebook will belong to the student as long as they are enrolled in CVUHSD schools, and the student will be expected to take it home and bring it to school every day. And, if the student graduates from a CVUHSD school, you will get to keep the Chromebook. If you're not familiar with Chromebooks, they are simple but powerful web-based computers. All Chromebooks have the same operating system and capabilities regardless of brand, size, or physical features. All you need is an internet connection and your Chromebook is ready to use. You can even use some of your Chromebook's features without an internet connection. The Chromebook operating system was created by Google and works seamlessly with all of Google's tools, such as email and Google Drive. Every student will get their own educational Google account, which is managed by the CVUHSD IT team and subject to district monitoring and content filtering. With these accounts, students can communicate with teachers and classmates, collaborate on online documents, and enjoy unlimited storage in their Drive account. In the next video, you will learn a little more about what a Chromebook is. This is a computer? This has the web? That's weird. Okay, so it's the web. There are no programs? 
So there's nothing to start up. Then how do I do stuff? There's no messy desktop. So no rolling hills of green. Can I use it anywhere? On a unicycle? My calendars, emails, documents. Everything can be saved to the web. That's crazy. So I could throw this thing into a river. And I won't lose my stuff? It doesn't need virus protection. What about annoying updates? Or patches. Or patches for the patches. So it gets better in real time. I wonder if people are ready for this. It's kind of a new thought. CVUHSD provides a safe and secure network for all students. All Chromebooks are tied to the Centinella Valley Union High School District network and are subject to the same content filtering and monitoring as on-campus computers. All Chromebooks are centrally managed by the CVUHSD Information Technology Department, which includes application deployment, software upgrades, and user management. Whether you are on or off campus, your Chromebook will still be monitored by CVUHSD. We can remotely manage content, monitor usage, and deploy software as needed. The district Chromebooks feature online content filtering capabilities aimed to protect students' online internet experience. So regardless of where you are, at home, school, or in the library, your internet activity will be filtered and monitored. Let's get to know your Chromebook and its features. Similar in design to a regular laptop, Chromebooks are equipped with a built-in microphone, LCD screen, and HD webcam. Chromebooks contain your standard keyboard layout with touchpad for on-screen navigation and power button conveniently located on the top left. Your Chromebook accepts connections to a variety of external peripherals made possible with the USB 3.0 ports, SD card slot, headphone jack, and an HDMI port. Students will receive an AC adapter to charge the Chromebook. LED indicators ease the guesswork on knowing if your Chromebook is powered on or receiving a charge. All Centinella Valley students are assigned a school email address and password. This information is sometimes called a username and password. However, we often refer to this information as the student's network credentials, which will allow the student to log into their Chromebook and other online programs managed by the district. A student's username will be their first initial, followed by a period, followed by all or most of their last name depending on the length of the last name, followed by the last three digits of their student ID number. The email domain, or everything that comes after the at symbol, will always be cvuhsd.org. The default password is the student's ID number twice. For example, if the ID number is 12345, then the password would be 12345 Note that the student can change their own password by visiting our password management website. A student's network credentials provide them access to log on to their Chromebook and many other online educational programs such as Google, which stores all of the student's online content. Since the Chromebook stores everything online, the student can easily log on to any other computer to access their files. So if your Chromebook breaks or you don't have it with you, you can still access all of your content and files by logging on to your Google account from any other internet-connected computer, 
Let's learn a little more about how Chromebooks are used in the classroom. Introducing Chromebooks for Education, a simple way to bring the power of the web into the classroom, manage school-wide sets of hardware, and keep students focused. For instance, Chromebooks leave more time for teaching by booting up in just eight seconds. That's less time than it takes to make a paper airplane. Even after entering sleep mode, they resume working immediately. And unlike most notebook computers, Chromebooks have a battery that lasts up to eight hours. So even at the end of a long school day, they're still going strong. Built-in Wi-Fi and optional 3G allow Chromebooks to connect to the web anytime, anywhere. Chromebooks are also built around a web browser, which means everything is stored online. Students and teachers can simply log on to any machine to access their emails, documents, and personal settings. So there are no more excuses for missing or incomplete homework. Without the need for constant software updates and yearly re-imaging, Chromebooks make it easy to provide each student with their own computer. Schools can manage an entire fleet of Chromebooks with just a few clicks. Administrators can configure and manage computers and user accounts via a web-based console. They can also control which web apps and extensions users can add. Chromebooks stay up to date with the latest features and fixes, so IT managers can spend less time updating hardware and more time focusing on the important things. Integrated security provides multiple layers of protection that defends computers and the entire network from malware and viruses. The Chromebooks for Education program includes everything from the computers and operating system to updates, web-based management, and extended warranty and support from Google. At the end of the day, Chromebooks for Education enables schools to be more efficient in terms of classroom time, IT resources, and technology budgets, which ultimately leads to happier teachers, students, and parents. The student's network credentials are not just for the Chromebook. They can also be used to access Wi-Fi when on campus. Simply open the Wi-Fi settings on your device, select the Sentinella network, and enter the student's network username and password. Note that the network username is everything except the at cvuhsd.org from your email address. Wi-Fi is available on campus for any internet-connected device, including personal phones and tablets. It is important to note that the school and district are not responsible for personal electronic devices. So if they are brought to school, students are responsible to care for them appropriately to prevent loss or damage. A student's username and password provide access to personal educational accounts. To maintain account security and safety, the student's username and password should never be shared with others. You may be wondering how the computers will be used in the classroom. At Sentinella Valley, we focus on a blended learning model for the classroom. With blended learning, students have the advantage of face-to-face -face classroom instruction and support from an experienced teacher, along with the added benefits of an online learning management system. In this district, we use the Canvas Learning Management System, which allows teachers to post curriculum, assignments, and discussions to the online classroom so that students always have access to the class, no matter where they are or what time of day it is. Canvas also integrates with a variety of online learning tools such as Google, BrainPop, Khan Academy, and Turnitin, just to name a few. These tools can be used to enhance and personalize the learning experience and make the curriculum more engaging for students while also giving teachers easy access to formative performance data so that they can make appropriate and meaningful adjustments to instruction. Combine all of those digital learning tools with an awesome teacher and you get an awesome blended learning classroom that includes teacher-led classroom group and individualized instruction, collaboration and communication among students both face-to-face -face and online, independent practice with access to the classroom curriculum via the learning management system anytime, anywhere and a personalized online learning experience where students can use engaging tools to enhance what they have learned from the teacher.
Since Canvas launched in 2011, more than 1,000 schools have chosen Canvas as their learning management system. Why? Because Canvas makes teaching and learning easier. Because it's reliable and secure with a 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee. And because we believe that the best technology empowers you and gets out of the way. A learning management system is a virtual classroom. And with Canvas, teachers can create powerful tools for their classroom with just a few clicks, give or take a drag and drop or two. And they can customize the learning experience with all sorts of integrations, since Canvas makes it easy to find and use third-party apps. From text messages to social networks to email, teachers can provide students with feedback that's meaningful, timely, and individualized. Students and teachers can quickly see and understand individual student progress, helping keep academic goals in focus. So those are a few of the reasons people choose, and more importantly, use Canvas. Or at least they're the handful we could cram into a short video. As you can see, blended learning combines a great teacher with great digital tools to provide a personalized, anytime, anywhere learning experience for students. A successful blended learning classroom depends upon the Chromebooks as an essential learning tool for each and every student. In many cases, in addition to all of the great digital tools on the Chromebook, students will also access their textbooks online via the Chromebook. Therefore, it is extremely important that all students charge their Chromebook every night and bring it to school each day with a full battery. The school will not have extra computers to loan out for students who forget to bring their computer to school. So if you don't bring your Chromebook, not only will your teachers be upset, but you'll probably end up missing out on some really cool stuff in class and just have to make it up later. So come to school prepared. Each night when you charge your phone, you also need to plug in your Chromebook. And each morning when you put your phone in your bag, your Chromebook needs to come along too. As empowered Chromebook users, students will have a unique opportunity to create, collaborate, communicate, and think critically using digital tools and learning from experienced teachers. In the digital age, there are a lot of exciting opportunities to express oneself online. It's important that students understand how to be good digital citizens by keeping their online presence positive and staying away from risky or harmful online behavior. Let's learn a little more about digital citizenship and online safety in the next videos.
There's an old quote, the more things change, the more they stay the same. A French journalist said that way back in the 1800s. But for many of us, technology has changed daily life and filled it with so many buzzes and chirps and swooshes that the world looks and feels completely different from when we all grew up. But despite all of these advances, the basics of growing up are pretty much the same. Think about it. You used to have marathon phone calls. Now your kids are texting nonstop. You used to spend hours obsessing over the perfect mixtape. Now your kids are creating these crazy video mashups. You cut pictures from magazines to make collages. Now they just pin their favorite styles to boards online. And while you had your ways to keep notes secret, kids today have other ways to make messages disappear. Whether then or now, all kids, especially adolescents, need to assert their independence and explore their own sense of identity as part of their childhood development. Naturally, this often involves risk-taking and looking for peer validation. As parents, though, it's always tough to see our kids ignoring consequences or putting so much of their value onto their peers' feedback. But actually, it's a normal part of their development. Kids need the opportunity to cultivate their emotional, social, and intellectual skills. And to do so, they need to create and explore and experiment and have the supported space to ask the questions about the world around them. The catch is, is that they're doing all this while their frontal lobe, the part of the brain that controls emotions and impulses, is still developing. That's why it's important to talk to your kids about the challenges as well as the opportunities that today's digital landscape offers, because their brains are still being wired. And in a world of digital devices where the outlets are immediate, wide-reaching, and 24-7, the stakes are definitely higher. First, they need to understand that just about everything online is public. Friends of friends can learn about what you had for breakfast. It's searchable. Have you ever Googled your name or your kid's name? It's replicable and shareable. We live in a copy-paste culture where things can literally go viral overnight. It's persistent. Once you click, it's out there, out of your control, and it's almost impossible to track where it's gone. It's sometimes anonymous. While anonymity does allow for healthy exploration, it also can lead to what's called the disinhibition effect, meaning that kids might say or do something that they wouldn't necessarily do offline. And they need to understand that every post, share, or comment creates what we call a digital footprint, which can impact their reputation tomorrow or further down the road. Despite the various pitfalls, the digital world does have great potential for creativity, learning, and social growth. It's an amazing resource that allows for access to information around the clock, Learning that can happen anywhere, at any time, and be personalized or customized. Connections and communities that can be made beyond walls and borders. With the world literally at our kids' fingertips, one of parents' biggest tasks now is setting appropriate guidelines and support systems for this new landscape. Because missteps are going to happen. It's just a part of growing up. The best way to figure out your family's digital lives is by asking questions, staying informed, and exploring this new landscape yourself. Better yet, invite your kids to explore it with you. And if you need a little help figuring it all out, we're here for you. Keeping students safe online is extremely important and is a shared responsibility among the school, the parents, and the student. To help students and parents better understand what dangers exist online, the possible consequences of social interactions online, and what parents and students can do to ensure that the student has positive and productive online experiences, we are providing some reading from the Federal Trade Commission. After reading through this information, parents and students should have an ongoing dialogue about online safety and what each of them can do to ensure that the student remains safe online. Centinella Valley Union High School District has systems, policies, and procedures in place to provide students with working, up-to-date technology and a safe and secure internet connection. In order to have the privilege to use school technology and internet, students must make a commitment to use it responsibly, be a good digital citizen, and to always follow the district responsible use policy. Students and parents must read, agree to, and sign the responsible use policy each year. Let's do a quick review of that policy now. CVUHSD protects students online by blocking and filtering inappropriate content as much as possible with up-to-date technology systems. Additionally, the district monitors all computer and internet activity for inappropriate or harmful activity by users. 
It is important that all students understand that they should have absolutely no expectation of privacy when they are using school computers, accounts, or internet access. This policy is true regardless of the location of the user. It includes personal devices that are used with district Wi-Fi and school computers and Chromebooks that are used off campus. Students are responsible for practicing positive digital citizenship, keeping personal information private and not sharing it online, not sharing their passwords with others, using appropriate language and other forms of expression online, treating others with respect and dignity online, only accessing appropriate content online, respecting and maintaining the district network security, taking reasonable care of district technology, and respecting the work of others, citing work appropriately, and not plagiarizing. The student's Chromebook and educational accounts are intended to be used primarily for educational purposes. However, we recognize that since this is your computer, you may want to use it for non-educational purposes occasionally when you are not at school. Non-educational use of your Chromebook is okay as long as you're following the district responsible use policy. Basically, as long as the content and interactions are appropriate, not harmful, and not disruptive to school, it's okay. If a student chooses to use district technology or the internet irresponsibly, the school will take appropriate disciplinary action and the student may have restricted access to school technology. All students are responsible for practicing positive digital citizenship, which includes appropriate behavior and contributions on websites, social media, discussion boards, media sharing sites, and all other electronic communications. It is important to be honest and respectful in all digital communications without disclosing sensitive personal information or hurting others. What district community members do and post online must not disrupt school activities or otherwise compromise individual and school community safety and security. Every student and parent will be required to sign a student computer checkout agreement, which outlines the Chromebook program expectations and responsibilities for students. It is the student's responsibility to properly care for the Chromebook. This includes keeping the Chromebook attended or secured at all times. If the Chromebook is not with the student, it must be locked in a safe location. Do not leave the computer in extreme hot or cold temperatures. Don't eat or drink near the computer and keep the computer clean. Be sure you charge your computer every night and bring it to school with a full charge. Do not use force with the computer and don't leave things on the keyboard. This can cause a cracked screen when you close it. Don't leave the computer on the floor and don't carry it by its screen. Close the computer when it's not in use. If the student fails to take care of the computer and it results in damage or loss, the student and parent will be responsible for paying the full cost of the damage or loss. Students and parents are not responsible to pay for repairs resulting from computer malfunction. It is important to understand that the Chromebook is an important learning tool that students will be expected to take home and bring to school every day. As an instructional material, like a textbook, the Chromebook will be checked out to the student. Also like a textbook, the student will be financially responsible for loss or damage to the Chromebook. The nice thing about a Chromebook is that it significantly reduces the financial liability for families. For example, a high school textbook costs between $100 and $200. The students typically check out between five and six textbooks per year. The financial liability for textbooks starts at at least $500 per year or $2,000 for four years of textbook checkout. With a Chromebook, students only check out one computer for all four years with a total financial liability of only about $200. Technical support and computer repair will be provided by the district. Chromebooks may not be repaired privately. 
In the event that a student's computer needs to be repaired or replaced, the student will be provided with a loaner computer until theirs can be returned or replaced. Students must remember that the primary purpose of the Chromebook is for academic use. However, outside of the school day, students may use the Chromebook for incidental personal purposes, as long as that use does not violate the responsible use policy. Students are not allowed to make any modifications or adjustments to the physical appearance or digital configuration of the Chromebook. Students will keep their Chromebook as long as they are enrolled in CVUHSD schools. However, if the student leaves Centinella Valley Union High School District, the computer must be returned to the school upon disenrollment. Upon graduation from a CVUHSD school, students will be allowed to keep their Chromebook. Parents, students, and the school district form an important partnership when it comes to caring for computers and internet safety. CVUHSD takes measures to provide training, technical support, and a safe and secure online experience for students. However, we cannot control everything on the internet. Parents and students also play an active role in ensuring that computers are cared for properly and that students are being good digital citizens and following the CVUHSD responsible use policy. Each comprehensive high school has a media center, which is truly a center of student life. The media centers are excellent places to study and get tutoring. They are also the student tech support center for Chromebooks and student accounts. Our skilled media center technicians not only provide assistance with textbooks, research, and digital library books, they can also assist students when they have computer or account problems. If the problem requires escalation to our IT department, the student can check out a loaner computer at the media center. While students are in our media centers, or anywhere for that matter, they can enjoy our digital library resources. We provide an overdrive library for pleasure digital book reading, Flipster Digital Magazines, EBSCO Research Databases, and Classroom Video On Demand for viewing educational videos. The best thing about our media centers is that they are open for students from 7.15 a.m. to 7.15 p.m. Monday through Thursday and 7.15 a.m. to 5.15 p.m. on Fridays. Students can come early and stay late with access to our high-speed internet to do homework, studying, and research. Now it's your turn. Next, you will log on to your Chromebook and look at some of the basic features. If you have trouble signing into your Chromebook or experience any other technical difficulties during this part of the presentation, please watch the demonstration and then when the workshop is over, you can return to the Media Center for technical support. Your Chromebook should turn on when you open it. If it doesn't, you can gently press the power button in the upper right corner of the keyboard. If it still doesn't turn on, the Chromebook's battery is probably dead and you need to plug it in. You should be able to turn on the Chromebook within a few seconds of plugging it in. If your Chromebook knows the Wi-Fi network you are connecting to, you will be taken directly to the login screen. However, if you are in a new location with new Wi-Fi, your Chromebook will first ask you to select and log into a Wi-Fi network. When you are at school, you will use the Sentinella Wi-Fi network and your Chromebook should connect automatically. However, once you leave campus, you'll need to connect your Chromebook to the local Wi-Fi network. When your Chromebook turns on, you'll be asked to sign in. This is where you will be able to type in your district email address and district network password. Notice on the logon screen that it says managed by cvuhsd.org. This means that the Chromebook can only be used by students with cvuhsd.org accounts. You will not be able to sign in with a regular Gmail account on your Chromebook. This feature helps ensure that the online experience is monitored and that the content is filtered by CVUHSD at all times. It also ensures that the Chromebook cannot be used by non-CVUHSD students. Please follow the instructions on the screen to set up school Wi-Fi on your Chromebook.
Once you are logged into your Chromebook, you'll see your account icon, which you can change, in the lower right corner of the screen. Since your Chromebook knows who you are, when you visit Gmail or Google Drive, you will automatically be logged in. Next to your account icon, you will also find a battery level icon and a Wi-Fi indicator. If you click on the shaded box that contains these icons, a menu will pop up that allows you to manage Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound, and Chromebook settings. You can also sign out of your account from here. On the bottom left side of the screen, you will find your Chrome application Quick Launchpad. The Quick Launchpad provides one-click access to your favorite apps. To remove an app from your Quick Launchpad, simply right-click on the app and select Unpin. If you click on the dark gray circle with a white circle inside of it, you will launch your Google Search and Application Finder. From this screen, you can see all pre-installed applications on your Chromebook. From here, if you click the blue All Apps icon, you will gain access to the full list of apps on your Chromebook. You can also search Google from this area. To add an app to your Quick Launchpad, simply right-click the app icon and select Pin to Shelf. If you don't currently have the Chrome web browser open, let's open it by clicking on the Chrome icon from your Quick Launchpad. Look in the upper left corner of the browser, just under the web address, for the Sentinella Shortcuts folder. If you click on it, you will find shortcuts to lots of school programs. When you are done using your computer, you need to log off and shut it down. So let's practice properly logging off and shutting down the Chromebook. After closing your programs, click on your account icon in the lower right corner of the screen to open the settings menu and click sign out. After you have logged off, in the lower left part of the screen, click shut down. Once your screen turns black, you can close your Chromebook. Thank you for attending this important training for Chromebook users. Don't forget to always be respectful and responsible with your Chromebook and internet use. If you have any trouble with your Chromebook or school accounts, please visit your school's media center for assistance. And most of all, enjoy this amazing learning tool.